Hey everybody, welcome to Sandy's Creative Connection. Hope you're having a good day. Today's project is a project using blends pens. And you'll need a piece of Calypso Coral that is eight and a half by five and a half inches. You'll also need a piece of Shimmer White, which is two and three quarters by five and a half. Now, now we have Shimmer White in our catalog. It's located on in the annual catalog on page 192. You'll need a strip for your happy birthday, which is located down at the bottom. And you will need a piece of ribbon. Next, let's talk about the colors. This is Rich Razzleberry Dark and Light. This is Calypso Coral Light and Dark. These are all blends pens. Daffodil Delight Light and Dark. And then you'll need the skin cut tones, Ivory and Bronze. And a strip of Designer Series Paper. The designer series paper is called Garden Impressions. It comes six by six and there's 48 sheets. It is located on page 191 of our catalog and it's beautiful. Here are some examples. This is not all of it, but there's a few examples there. The stamp set we're using today is called Wonderful Moments located on page 136. And we're going to use this balloon and these presents and the lady. And you see it's a three-step, it's a three, it's three different stamps. So I'm going to show you using the Stamparatus how to get a perfect stamp image. I love the Stamparatus. If you don't have one, you really need to invest in one because it really helps out with precision stamping. So let's get started. I've cut out a piece of grid paper. I'm using both of my acrylic plates and I have placed a C in the corner. I've also taken a pencil and marked where I need to place my piece of cardstock. It makes it easy because if it um, somehow gets removed, well, the photopolymer stamps will lift the cardstock. And if it does this, then I and I need to restamp it um, for depth of um, ink. Or well, this is a three. This is a two-step process. So um, it helps with placing it back perfectly. Okay, so this is how I set it up. I place the lady where I want her. Of course, the stamped, the linear edge down. Pick it up with my plate. See, it moved a little bit, so I'm going to put it right back. I'm going to put my magnet on top. I am going to ink up the image. Stamp. Didn't get it perfectly, so I'm going to re-ink it. This is why I love my Stamparatus. Okay, that's a good image. Now I'm going to place my other two pieces, of course, upside down. Take the present and put the present on her hand. I'm going to take the plate, pull it down, and pick up those stamps very carefully so that I don't move the paper. If I do, then I just stick it right back into the corner. Check it out one more time. I'm inking it up. Now I'm using Mento here. That's the type of ink that is recommended for blends. It is a watercolor pad and the Blends are alcohol markers, so uh, my balloons did not get a completed image, so I'm going to move my magnet, re-ink it. But the, the blends are alcohol, and you always think about opposites. Use alcohol when using watercolor. Oh, perfect image. And when you're using um, 
watercolor, you use alcohol pad. So like stays on with watercolor and memento with lens. Opposites. I always think of opposites. Okay, so here's our image. Let's start coloring her. I've got the Calypso dark, and I'm going to take and just outline her dress all the way down. That's where I want the darkest of the, the, the shadows to show, to give it some depth. So I'm Just putting down an outside layer. Now I'm going to pick up, I'm using the blur brush side to put down the dark. Now I'm taking the nub side of the light and I'm going to just go in circles. I'm trying to get rid of that line. So here I'm going to speed up for you. I'm just trying to blend out that line. And then at the last minute I'll go over to create the lighter of all. All right, let's go down and get her shoes. I'm using the darkest of the Calypso. Next, I'm going to go up and do the same thing on the balloon. You put down some dark where I want the darkest of the balloon to be. Then pick up the light. Using the nub, I'm going to blend out that line. Next, I'm going to grab the daffodil blend pen, and I'm going to use the dark. I'm doing the same thing. And then I'll go pick up the light. And usually I will use the brush side to put down the dark and not put much pressure. I've found that if you put a lot of pressure or, or use it, let me go the opposite, use light pressure, it puts out just, just the perfect amount of ink. Okay, I'm doing this with the Rich Razzleberry. I took the dark marker, and now I'm going back with the light to blend the... See how nice shading there is? All right, so next, let's go and get the bronze, and I'm putting in shadow at her legs and under the hair. You're also going to put dark, little, just pop in a few dark spots for her hair. Now I'm going to go back with the ivory, and I am going to color her in. But notice I'm blending out the bronze at the base of the skirt. And I'm putting it in for her hand. This is all done in ivory. And then I'll, last, I'll put in color in her hair. Now I'm going to color the, the present. I'm going to alternate light and dark. I'm using the nub in this situation because it's such a small area. And that's the fine tip. So I'll go, I'll finish this up, and then I'll draw a vertical line, which I will go back and blend Blending in that dark vertical line, and now I'm putting in the top of the package. And last but not least, so I'm going to take the old olive, put down a line with using using the nub, get the light out, and just kind of just kind of work it a little bit. Yeah, that's mostly covered up anyway, so. Okay, so that's all the coloring. Now I'm going to take my card base. I'm going to fold it in half and use a bone folder, of course. And then we use the ruffled embossing folder, and I just used it on, just straight on the card base. So let me, let me pull you out. 
So when I run it through, I put the, uh, let me open it up, just maybe a quarter of an inch of the card front into the uh, embossing folder so that it embosses it real nice. All right, I'll be back after I emboss. Okay, embossed. so I'm back and I have um, embossed this card base and you actually have two choices. You have that side, which is raised, this side, which is um, concave. So you have to choose which side you want, of course. I'm gonna do that side. So we're going to bring our little lady back in and we are going to get our piece of designer series paper glued on so i'm just going to take a very small amount of glue And if you have to trim the DSP, do so. Designer series paper. And then we're going to go ahead and glue down the lady. And you can choose to leave a little edge there if you want or not. Run it on over to the side, however you want to do it. And then the next thing is going to be the words. So I'm going to bring in the Mento back in. And this particular stamp set has happy birthday, right, is a part of it. So I'm going to ink it up, stamp it on, again, shimmer paper. And now I'm using the Classic Label Punch. It's in our annual catalog gonna line it up punch it out and so across the bottom we have the happy birthday and we have a piece of ribbon just like that I'm gonna take the ribbon and put some snail on the back and I don't happen to have a um, mat on a blank so I'm gonna just take my fingers and rub it on just like so and then the little happy birthday I'm gonna pop him up I'm gonna use the teeny tiny little dimensionals because they work really good on these little sentiments There you go, I've got two on there. And I'm just gonna somewhat overlap it. And there you have that, that is done. And now for the inside, I'm going to just add some adhesive of your choice. Lay down the designer series paper. And then in this stamp set, it has um, can celebrating a special day with a special wish for a very special person. I like it, so I'm going to add it. But you can add whatever you have in your stamping. There you go. And we are done. You might want to do something special for an envelope, but you don't have to. And there we go. We are done with that card. Thanks for stopping by. I will have a list of all the supplies because um, you can order them from me. And I have a list of all those supplies um, on the YouTube channel description below. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and share my YouTube video. I, I would greatly appreciate that. All right. See you soon.